The Pope has already made public the proclamation that no entity is doing more to protect children and prevent sexual abuse than the Catholic Church. Now he's turning to Cardinal O'Malley and seven other leaders, each a highly regarded reformer, to put into action his vision of a church where the safety of youngsters is the highest priority. Cardinal O'Malley is part of the Holy Father's kitchen cabinet of eight cardinals, handpicked by Francis from around the world to help him run the church. Cardinal O'Malley first came to national attention when he was assigned to the Boston Archdiocese after the U.S. sexual abuse scandal first erupted there. Obviously among the advisors, I'm probably the one that Sadly, it's had the most experience, but uh, and uh, I'm trying to be of service to the Holy Father in this area. Also on the team is Marie Collins. She's an Irish woman who suffered abuse herself when she was a young girl. Ever since, she's vowed to make a difference in the lives of children and has devoted her public life to campaigning for victims' rights. In naming her, as well as Hanna Suholska, the former Prime Minister of Poland, along with child psychologist Catherine Bonnet and Baroness Sheila Hollins, who is the president of Britain's Medical Association and a world-renowned expert on child development. The Pope, in one stroke, is not only tackling a critical issue head-on, the sex abuse scandal, he's also taking concrete steps to place women in church leadership positions. The woman in charge of the Brooklyn Diocese's ongoing campaign to protect children is impressed by the Holy Father's selections. Having lay people on the commission gives um, the issue transparency. It lets the public know that the Pope is serious about this, that he's listening to everyone. Mary Ellen Quinn knows what it takes to prevent sex abuse. In our diocese, her office teaches adults and children how to identify and stop potential predators. The Pope is very serious about the issue. He doesn't um, want to let the past dictate what has gone on, he wants to move forward. His statement um, was he's looking forward to the future without forgetting the past, and that's key. You have to recognize that this happens, that we have victims that we need to care for, and that we can't let it happen anymore. In my exclusive television interview with Cardinal O'Malley last week, he previewed the action that Pope Francis has now taken. The Holy Father is very anxious to launch a committee for child protection, and that's coming very soon and he certainly is always very open to suggestions and, and uh, anxious to learn more about the situation in the United States and other places. The Cardinal is being joined on the Sex Abuse Commission by a lay lawyer and two Jesuit priests, a German and an Argentine who is also very close to the Pope. As the group gets to work, it is expected to expand. Additional members likely to come from the developing nations where the church is growing most rapidly. In the end, the ultimate success of the Sex Abuse Commission will play an important role in determining the ultimate success of Francis as Supreme Pontiff of the Catholic Church. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.